Welcome to another Just Right. This week, our challenger is going to help write an episode of a TV comedy drama for children's ITV called The Worst Witch. You've probably seen it. The Worst Witch is set in a school for young witches called Cackle's Academy after the head teacher, Miss Amelia Cackle. Writing TV drama is actually a very complicated business. You have to work out how to translate the storyline into scenes that you can film. And that means thinking about how to tell the story using action and dialogue in an entertaining way. Now, Hannah's 12 and lives in York. Hannah, would you like to have a go? Yeah, definitely. I've always wondered how TV drama gets made, but I haven't seen much of The Worst Witch. Shall I get some videos out and do some research? Yeah, that's a good idea. Martin Riley, the storyliner and lead scriptwriter on The Worst Witch, knows everything there is to know about the characters and the world they inhabit. Martin, are you prepared to let Hannah share your desk? Absolutely, there's plenty of room. It'll be hard work, but we'll have some fun as well. Excellent. Fairground is your newspaper, fighting for a fairer future for all. Yeah! In the previous episode, Mildred and Jadou produced the first edition of a new school newspaper. The girls loved it, but it caused arguments in the staff room. I think Mildred's cartoon is very funny. Oh, Miss Hardbroom was not amused. She's drawn me as a harp. You see? <laughs> I suppose that's because I'm always harping on. How well observed. Miss Hardbroom has asked for the immediate expulsion of both of you. This means that until Miss Cackle makes her decision, Mildred and Jadu will be confined in the isolation room. Now for Hannah's episode. Martin has already worked out two main threads to the story. One follows Mildred, Jadu and their friends, desperately trying all kinds of magic to prevent Mildred and Jadu finally being expelled from Cackle's Academy. The other story thread concerns the goings-on in the staff room. Well, what we need to do now is take the main threads of the story, the business with Mildred being in isolation with Jadu and how her friends are going to get her out of there and get her unsuspended, and then there's the main staff story, which is who's going to win, Hardbroom, who wants to see the end of Mildred, or is it going to be uh, Drill, who wants to, her given another chance, right? So how have you managed to put all that into scenes? Well, I've started with us and the Mildred and Jadu in mm. the isolation room, mm. and Maud and Drusilla come in to cheer them up. Mm. But Mildred's not happy about it. She doesn't seem to think anything will work, and she's lost all hope. She starts to draw some pictures, mm. and the drawings start to come to life. Okay, yeah. Well, we could have a prince come. Now, hold on, hold on just a minute there, because it's getting long now, and we need to sort that out. I'll give me a call the waiter over here. Waiter, we'll have both first, please. Thank you, that's perfect. Right then, Hannah, that was great. But we can't tell the story all in the isolation room, right? So this is, this is your story in the isolation room, right? And this here is the part where Mildred and Jadu are being cheered up by their friends, but it doesn't work. And this bit here is where Mildred's drawings start to come to life. And this last fat bit here of Swiss roll, that's the bit when she manages to make the prints come to life. Right? And here, this lovely piece of strudel, this is the rest of the story. This is the bit where Drill is trying to persuade Hardbroom to let the kids come back. This bit here is when Mildred's friends uh, get hold of the Mythocopia to try and bring a threat to the school to life. That's going to enable Mildred to save them from it. And this last bit here, this is where they raise the uninvited. And there's the uninvited there. Good job they've made the prince come to life here, because he's going to save them from it in the end. There you are, perfect. Where would you like to start? At the beginning, of course. Oh, it's wow. good to see Hannah getting stuck into scene one so quickly. But you saw what Martin was doing. With all those slices of Swiss roll and strudel, he was showing how you can interleave two separate story strands. Doing this means you don't have to try to tell the whole story. You can collapse time, so increasing the pace, speeding the action. You don't believe me? Well, next time you're watching one of those TV soaps, as you watch, make a list of all the scenes. Afterwards, check out how the stories have been interleaved and how short the scenes actually are. <laughs> Are 
Abbey will sit here each day and copy out chapters of the Historica Magica in silence. Anna, yeah. how are you going to deal with this first scene in the isolation room? Well, I see Millie and Jadu alone writing out lines. Mm. Yeah. And they've got none of their friends and Jadu trying to comfort Millie. Oh, right. Well, I'll tell you what, let's give that a try. Um, you sit over there and be yeah. Jadu. I'll sit here and be Millie. And, uh, yeah, like this will do. Use this to write on. OK. Ready? What page are you on, Millie? <sighs> page one. Whoa, that's a brilliant drawing. Who is it? Prince Percy. Better cover up in case Hardbrum sees it. What's she going to do? Throw you out double? Probably. No, really, Millie, I think you've got a talent. You should go to art college. Yeah, get thrown out of art college as well. Probably get a teacher called Harbrush who picks on me all the time. Oh, don't be so pessimistic. Maybe Prince Percy will come to our rescue. Oh, yeah, that would be magic. OK, Hannah, that was a slow and moody scene. Now we want something pacey, something totally different. The argument in the staff room between uh, Drill and Hardbroom about the letter that's going to expel Mildred and Shadow. So who do you want to be, Drill or Hardbroom? I'll be Hardbroom. I thought so, right. I'll be Drill. And we just need uh, a Miss Cackle somewhere. Graham the cameraman, would you mind being Cackle? Oh, thank you very much. Right, um, Cackle's got the letter that's expelling Jadou and Mildred, but she hasn't posted it yet. Start. Are those the letters I think they are? They should have been posted yesterday. Um, uh, don't worry about it. Miss Cackle will post them in her own good time, won't you? No, she won't. She hasn't got any free time. I can do it right now. Miss Cackle would like to have a nice walk to the post office. It's good exercise, wouldn't you, Miss Cackle? No, Miss Cackle does not need exercise. And anyway, she's made her decision. Have you, Miss Cackle? You'll have to wait for the answer to that one. But to recap, first you must try to get inside the characters. And then, either in your head or with a friend, start improvising some scenes. Imagine how the different characters would behave and what they would say in the situations laid down by the storyline. And if you reckon your memory isn't good enough to remember your improvised dialogue, record it on a cassette. I expect Hannah got a copy from Simon, our sound recordist. Come on, Hannah. Welcome to Cackles Academy. Wow, it's really realistic. Martin's yeah, brought Hannah down to the studios in Twickenham to have a look round the sets. So we get a lot of nice angles in here. Yeah. <gasps> wow. Here we are, the potions lab. Follow me. This is uh, Hard Broom's special place. Why don't we brew something up? Yeah. What shall we make? A what? script. Pop that in. <laughs> What's that? I think that's dragon's liver. No, it's good dialogue, right? And yeah. a little bit of heavy characterisation and drama. And some prickly with hard brew. Stick her in. Yeah, ooh. And stir it up. Ah. Oh, it's all green. And... Oh. Right, we've organised the storyline into scenes. We've done some improvisation. I think we're ready to start writing now, Hannah. OK. But before we go on with the early scenes, there's one I want to work on where... Um, Mildred's friends are trying to remember how Mildred has got out of trouble in what, the past. you mean like a flashback? Yeah, but a, a flashback is a bit boring, it's a bit clichéd, a bit hackneyed, something more exciting. Oh, no, but it doesn't have to be a normal flashback. They could conjure up a spell. Oh, yeah. Like a memory spell. Great. Where they have the cauldron with the yeah. fire yeah. and the smoke coming out. Yeah. And then a picture will appear in the middle of the, of the smoke. Great, so write down what happens. What are you doing? Finishing the memory potion? Maybe we'll get an idea from the past. Wow, that's amazing. Are there any more like that? Well, there is one that I've been thinking about, but I don't think we can do it. It's, it's the bit where uh, Mildred's drawing of Prince Percy comes to life. Well, we have to do Prince Percy coming to life. He's one of the key characters. Yeah, but it's very difficult to do. And it, we can just cut to him being alive. No. no. I don't think they'll spend the money. I don't think we... It's very difficult to Mildred's make Mildred's just discovered a talent. We need to show it. Oh, look. Write it down and we'll see what happens. I must say, I'm with Hannah on that one. When it comes to magic and special effects of all kinds, let your imagination rip. Write down simply and clearly what you think would work. The director and production company will soon say if they like your ideas, if they can actually film them, and they can afford to. But don't be put out if, in the end, they come up with something better. It's their show as well as yours. Yeah, 
Shooting a drama series like The Worst Witch takes weeks in the studio. And action! Martin and Hannah are back down in Twickenham for the filming of the isolation room scenes. Mildred and Jadu, you will sit here each day and copy out chapters of the Historica Magica in silence. And cut. That's that. This is Hannah, who's been working with me Hello, on this. Hello, Hannah. Nice to meet you. We've done ages on this. Yeah. We? we were talking about whether they should sit together or sit opposite. We thought there was a lot of tension in having them sit opposite each other, not being allowed to look at each other. Did you write that? I thought that was my idea. <laughs> yeah. She wrote all the best bits. <laughs> Where, which, which scene are we never TV looking? scripts have to be absolutely spot on, and there are countless things to consider. But remember these three, and you'll be on your way. Divide up the story into filmable scenes which you can then interleave to make the show really pacey and exciting. Try out some of your dialogue. The lines will sound more natural if you get inside the characters first. And bear in mind that TV gives you the chance to try out all sorts of tricks and special effects. So think visually. What? <laughs> oh yes, yeah, very funny, very funny, Nick. Thank you. At last, The Worst Witch is finished. Hannah's invited some friends round to watch the broadcast. Hey, that's brilliant. You really do have talent, Millie. I think you should go to art college. You'd probably get some horrible teacher called Hardbrush who'd take all the fun out of it. Don't be so pessimistic. Maybe Prince Percy will ride to our rescue. That would be magic. Are these the letters I think they are? They should have been sent to their parents yesterday. I just haven't had the time, Constance. I'll post them for you if you like. Miss Cackle is perfectly capable of posting her own letters. She may wish time to reconsider. Miss Cackle has made her decision. Constance Imogen, I will post these letters when and where and if I wish. Aravata Instantata. You're not a unicorn. Expecting someone else, were you? No one ever invites me. Oh, Millie, it's going to take more than a prince in shining armour to rescue us from this one. No, it won't. I wonder if I can really lift him off the page. You better start on her. We'll need her help in dealing with this malevolent old witch. Mildred and Jadu as head girl and deputy head girl, raise your hands. Mildred Hubble and Jadu Wally to remain with us as head girl and deputy head girl of Cackles Academy. Well done, Hannah. And Martin, great performances too. Was I all right? How was I? Oh, cup of tea, please. I could do with a cup. I'm sorry. It'll be lots of fun, and uh, I'll do it again. Oh, sorry. <laughs> TV scripts have to be absolutely. Well, it's your line. I I've done come to life. And I'm sorry. I saw Dad. Mildred is drawing. Yes, gotcha. <laughs> no, she wouldn't. That's stupid, because we're not going to. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs>